favorite car of all times. It's a 550, really? right? 550. I've owned it since 99. Wow. It's always been one of my favorite Ferraris. It is. Uh, always. Even today, I mean, even with Richard's brand new cars, I've raced every one of them as fast as all of them. Wow. Carl run a real 207. We've done it twice. We've had it at Bonneville, averaged out over 200 in and out. Holy crap. Uh, driven it really hard. It's just a great car. Yeah, wow. this car set the record. Man. Very cool. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know if you see any Ferrari I've ever owned is drives it is the best driver any Ferrari I've ever had. And we're coming wow. to get an old run runner. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Cool. Back. Get it back. Yeah, we sold it to Richard. Richard sold it back to us. Sounds like Richard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're gonna get to know him well. Typical. But we are uh, Alex did the wiring in the Shelby this week. I mm. uh, did the dash, did the gauges. Uh, we're color sanding and buffing it now. Then our glass guy will be out, I think, probably Friday. So the glass will go in. So that's neat. awesome. Uh, so it's coming together pretty quick. Awesome. Uh, Heck yeah. Well, we're not rushing you, but we're ready for it yeah. whenever you're ready. Good okay. to see you guys. Cool. Yeah. You yeah. have a great Thank day. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get out of your way. <laughs> said, come on in. So let's go. Let's do it. How you doing, brother? Good afternoon, sir. You caught me at the beer cooler. Sorry, man. That's where I usually am. Yeah. Richard, you What's see, up? buddy? Let me get you guys a beer. He probably I'll wants take one. one. This is one of my new garage beers, man. Check Thank that you. out. It's <laughs> light <laughs> beer for guys who like beer. But uh, anyway, so... Uh, I drink three or four of those in the garage. Yeah. Well, that's where I drink most of my beer because that's where I spend most of my time. Absolutely. So you guys Same just literally can't live without this thing having it back. Well... We've had separation anxiety. <laughs> Every time we see it, hey, it's a run runner. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It is so cool. I get so many people looking at it at the fence line there. And uh, I guess I got it from y'all, what, a, a year and a half or so ago? A year ago. Actually, a almost a year basically a month. A, yeah, a year. Because yeah. yeah. y'all were moving. How'd the move go? How's it getting all settled in? Or? It was a lot of work, but it, yeah. it was actually a lot of fun, too. I mean, you know, it's crazy how some of these uh, adventures go. You know, it's sometimes the most work ends up being the most reward. And, yeah. and we had a great time with the guys, the whole team. And we were there for like a month and a half. And we moved or sold like 85 cars in six weeks. Yeah. So that's that's too much work. Plus, I mean, how many trailer loads of parts? A lot. Like, yeah, we sold we sold like 70, 60 or seventy thousand dollars worth of parts, and we were selling stuff just like two bucks at a time, like you know, whatever it was, get, right? Panel, just, yeah. this motor, or whatever. It's just you know shipping that much stuff. That's no, I get lot. it. Yeah. I just did the same on my on my uh, shelves back there because for eight years we were making television, and it either went in the dumpster or it just got thrown on the shelf. And uh, the last couple of three months we've been just pulling down sections at a time spreading it out and either selling it or getting rid of it you know either way sometimes i would even put it out there on that social media it's like it's free if you come get it now you know and uh a lot of times when it's free it's that's even worse that's yeah they just show up <laughs> but uh all right cool let's, let's go, go check it out it. yeah, yeah sure. i mean we all know what it looks like yep i did just get this well unless ass. you you know backed into it or something while i was here <laughs> no no nobody does that <laughs> we just got back from a run yesterday out in uh Austin area. Okay. Got this uh, Harley Davidson sign. Oh, oh, cool. This is an original. That is badass. It's an original, lightly restored from 1970s. You can only get it as a Harley Davidson dealer. Wow. It's also got a rotating platform and it was on a pole. Oh, that's oh. right up my alley. I would be up for and, that. And uh, so it works. Everything's perfect. The rotator's in the truck. And uh, it was uh, pretty cool. It actually used to belong to a really famous guy called Chopper Dave up in, uh, I believe, Colorado. And uh, then it was in uh, Austin Speed Shop for a while. And this guy bought it from those guys. And I finally got my hands on it. So Was it just a lead off of online or just a buddy? No, a believe buddy? it or not, it was on Bring a Trailer. And I was the runner-up bidder. And the guy that did get it didn't pay. So they called me and asked me if I wanted it. Nice. And uh, what have you? So, That's uh, rad. I like out. that. That's not awesome. bad at all. And then we got all. I don't yeah. know what this what is. What is it? <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. It was a troop carrier personnel thing made out of Canada for the Vietnam War, and they were a little bit behind the timeline. And the war was over by the time they were really ready to deploy it because they were going to throw it out with a parachute, and, and then yeah. they could get in it and haul ass. And so, uh, wow. Um, I don't know. I'm on a kick of buying these tiny weirdnesses because it pisses off Daphne. We call, <laughs> we call it pissing off the D. And uh, 
<laughs> so I'm just buying the stupidest things and then showing up with it. Hey, we've got a, a wooden three-wheel oh, French yeah, car you would really love. Oh, yeah, we got really stupid you might like. Oh, you got to see me <laughs> pictures. We'll is it tiny? Pictures. Dude, it's, it's, tiny. it's about it's that, that size. size. It's got three wheels it's and the frame is wood, made of wood. And then it's faced with a, it's like a, like a tin. tin. Yeah. And it's, what's Some, the name of the brand? Because it's one we it's one we know. I mean, it's like Peugeot or something. Yeah, like that. but it's it's called like a feather or a. But it's a fifty one or fifty two. It's, it's, it's got you got to send it. It's got a title, yeah, we'll right? It's like it. a title. We got a title. Yeah, it's the craziest thing. We have a little, little pink title from nineteen seventy. You got to send it to me. Yeah. Because yeah, we'll I'm it. trying to buy six micro things. And, this uh, is something you've probably never seen before. I bet you. Which Doesn't sound actually, like Actually, you've seen a lot of stuff that you haven't seen before. So I literally haven't touched it. I don't even think we did you, anything. You put better wheels I on it. I did find a set of wheels. That's right. Yep. So I found a set that matched the time frame. Yeah, the patina. And uh, what have you. But it's exactly as was. Yep. Yep. Now I can make you a package deal on that and this sweet ass <laughs> Mach 1. We only brought one trailer. <laughs> well, you're close enough now. I can deliver. <laughs> I just love the way this thing looks, man. It is super it's just cool. Freaking and when, rad. I think Richard had posted it on Facebook, and then some guy posted a picture of it back in the day. And was like, like when I, it was yeah, you sent me that. that I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And it, dude, it looked, and you can still read this performance center on the side, and it was like the car looked cherry in those pictures. So that was cool yeah. to see because we'd never found any like, you know, previous provenance. No. Except uh, so that was cool to see that one old picture. Nah, it's of super it. cool. I'm glad it's going back to you guys. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, guys, sir. Yeah, that's absolutely. absolutely. I can't enter she in an S code 390 four speed. Uh, tough car, hard to sell. I know. <laughs> but it's a nice rust free one. Yeah. This, Somebody in Europe would love that thing, I bet. Or Mexico. Who knows? Yeah. This is uh, 87. Drink the beer. Fully loaded Targa with 1600 original miles. Original tires from the factory. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> is that going to go on Brain Trail? Ah, uh, no. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking about customizing. <laughs> That'd be cool. But I just bought it because it's 87 is the year I graduated high school. Oh, uh, okay. It's one perfect. Of, and one of my good buddies has an 87, so I'll have it's to send a it shit to him. that, though, man. I mean, it's the first year of the tune port, and yeah. those things suck. And this ends an automatic. The sticks are at least a little bit cooler. A little bit. <laughs> We were here when the test it was in a million pieces two days before. I can't even, SEMA. Believe, I can't even yeah. believe that thing got done we were based like, on where it was at. We're like, you guys, you guys are leaving, leaving when? And you're like 24 hours. We're well, like, that's why it's here now. We It got scratched in shipping and uh, they oh, had bummer. to work on it for a while. The interior looked good in pictures, but it's not the quality I wanted. So we're going to redo that and uh, then it'll be ready for the red. Yeah, that's we cool. scratched it. Oh, it. a bummer, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's white. It's happens. Happens. But it's cool. And it's freaking fast oh i bet oh it's fast and, sure. but yeah like the micro car stuff i was telling you we just did this oh you did it you were we were when it was here it was this on the rack and you yeah had yeah so all we got left to do is the headers coming out they're gonna come out here <laughs> yeah and, you wouldn't be able to do this with this car we're talking about it's like literally it's there's smaller. no structure to it <laughs> oh it's fine but i mean this thing's just great oh dude, and then i got the tank and then gnarly. i've got uh a thing we're working on next door called the penguin and it's an amphibious uh, and on road single cylinder two stroke does 30 miles an hour on the road okay with two people in it and nine miles an hour on water <laughs> and uh you can literally just drive off into the water you don't have to change any gearing or anything because the paddle for the propulsion is the tires i think that <laughs> car that we're talking about has a, is a three wheel it is three wheels yeah, yeah. it's a reliant robin. reliant that's what it it's, is it's a reliant robin is the is send the me pictures Here, I'll I'll show be your name. Name. <laughs> dude it's, we it's, bought what did we buy 30 we got 32 cars a bunch of tools and a bunch of like 15 of the <laughs> honda 70 trail bikes in this one horde yeah that's it that's weird. It's, it's literally this tiny, this tiny little, like wooden frame. Run? We've never, we've never it's tried got, to get it. It's running, fully but, complete. It's got the motor in it. Dude, it's still got like, like lettering on it. How much is that? Oh, dude, no idea. We have no idea. Oh, it's free. We'll make a trade. <laughs> <laughs> we, we would have to, we would have to, we would have to really like strap it together to make sure that it doesn't fall apart and ship. That's it. Oh, there's the a better picture of it. It's really very it's super, delicate. Yeah, it's super fragile. Super delicate. But yeah, three wheels. Like those doors are barely even held on. Yeah. I it's just know. one of those But it's weird... got a really cool um, logo on the side. Yeah, that printing. That's what I was just the, showing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah. I'll come over and look at it. Is it here? <laughs> no, it was in California. Come on over. 
<laughs> and, uh, but yeah, this penguin thing, we're in the process of restoring the whole thing. Oh yeah, that's totally different than what I was thinking. So it's literally like a little fiberglass tub boat. And, uh, and it'll do 30 miles an hour? Yeah. On. And then the tires are like this big in the back. They're <laughs> huge. And uh, that's what propels it in the water is the, oh, the rigs like on the tires. It's got like paddle tires kind of looking. Yeah, but I mean the, fly, the fiberglass was all real fragile. Where'd we you find that? Rehydrated. I don't know. It popped up somewhere. I really <laughs> don't know. <laughs> How funny. Yeah, that's why. That's crazy. What other interesting things have come up since you've been doing the, the million dollar um, challenge? I bought a K5, 71 K5 CST yesterday. Oh, that's nice. Those are um, nice. Those, I bought, those are... Speaking uh, of... I bought a uh, couple of Mustangs, uh, a 68 and a 70 that have been in a garage since the 80s. And, oh, that's why Dennis was here. He's paying me for my Corvettes. Um, I ended up uh, buying... This guy sitting in the lead and showed me some pictures. And I mean, these were shitbox Corvettes, but it's a 63 split window, a 66 and a 67 uh, big block car with, with knockoffs. And interiors out of them beat up, holes in the fiberglass, you name it. But they're real cars, you know. And uh, I said, well, what do you want for them? He goes, well, I don't know. How about five grand a piece? I said, truck's on its way. I'll be there. The truck is on its don't way. Don't even need to look at them. Wow. Yeah. So I sold Dennis uh, the 63 first, and uh, then he just said, screw it, I'll go get the other two. And uh, so he went down there and got those. Cool, cool. So we did Very all right cool. on that. I can't complain. That's awesome. And uh, that's about it. We're fixing to start on the Ford short bed there. Oh, that's what the people chose? Yep. Cool. We're going Ford short bed, Gen 3 Coyote, six-speed manual. Ooh, cool. Slammed, uh, you know, big rear end, big wheels, big brakes, all Leaving that. But the static. patina? That's what I'm arguing with myself <laughs> on. I think I want to, but I also don't know. I can't decide. Um, but uh, it's going to be a nice truck. I mean, we've That'd got cool. all the parts ready. We're going to tear it down probably maybe tomorrow. I don't uh, know. We're Sweet. taking a patina car to Mecham next month, so we're kind of... We're, we're not sure how that's going to play. We're not really rolling the dice because it'll have a reserve, but we'll see how... Yeah, it, uh, no, as far as rolling the dice to take it there and take it home, but... yeah. Have you sold any patina cars at auction? Have you seen anything? Not in a go long across? time. I've done it, but I haven't in a long time. And I don't think they do. I wouldn't think they would do well, but we're going to try it anyway. If it's the right car, like a truck or whatever, I mean, you saw that stuff at Barrett. Um, but I was only at Barrett for like six hours. Love what you did with the charger. Yeah, up there. that's just so cool. It is. Speaking rad. of Georgia, that came from the Georgia shop. That car got brought there, took apart, built there. Yeah, that body's ready to build. Pro Tour, it's all set up. You just oh, really? it's all, Yeah, framed and everything. Yeah. Well, I've so. got these two Mustangs off Flippy in Idaho, or Iowa, one or the other. Idaho, uh, sure. Idaho's Iowa, maybe not. <laughs> no, these have been in the garage since the 80s. Uh, they're absolutely rust-free. Uh, it's a 68 uh, J-Code Fastback. Oh. And a 70, Mo or 70 sports roof. It's not a mock, I don't think. Uh, both V8 cars are M-Code. And uh, front clips are off of them. The Mach 1 runs and drives. Um, the 68 is, the motor's out. Everything's there. It's just like all in this one big garage. Yeah, we'd uh, be interested in that. This guy uh, got them. He bought the guy's business and he just goes to take the fucking cars too. Ah. Iowa. Iowa. Iowa, okay. So that's a little bit of a hike, but we'd still Tiny. do it. Well, I guess just the one enclosed, you could do it. Yeah, you'd take the hauler and the one enclosed. Yeah. Because you need two, the two cars. Just want right, to say thanks out. again for yeah. holding on to our car for us. Yeah, we appreciate it, brother. Thank you. <laughs> it's going back to a good home. Yeah. We're all loaded up. Love it. So. All right, kill it. Yeah, keep us it. in mind, though, if thanks, anything sir. comes up. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? I'll call you on those Be in touch. All right, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks for Enjoy your day. Take it easy, man.
Who's driving? Don't hit your knees on that hitch, please. Uh, don't, don't hit the knee busters. So pretty cool getting uh, the Rum Runner back, huh? I mean, heck yeah. What's the chances of that? It's I like, thought he was gonna build something with it though, actually. You know, I, but you know, yeah. how many things they buy and you know how it is. We, we bought how many cars and some we get done and some, some we just, don't. you just don't get to, unfortunately, or whatever. Oh, but next guy. when I saw him put it back up, I was trying my hardest, bro, to not buy it, but it just kept pulling at me and pulling at me. And finally I was just like, Hey Richard, <laughs> can we buy that back? We're gonna bring that home. So, and then he held on to it, so that was pretty cool for, for yeah. us. But, uh, but yeah, always good to see him, always good to go there. Absolutely. Um, they always have interesting things. He always has a freaking ton of shit always. going on. Yeah. He, those Mustangs he was talking about. Bill, and, and flips. That and Challenger convertible. Yeah. I mean, his his million dollar, what is it, what's it called? The million dollar Challenger. challenge. Those leads must be coming in with hotcakes. Yeah, definitely. But that'd be cool if we, if we end up uh, going on that chase for those Mustangs with them. That would be super about cool. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'll drive to Iowa for that. Yeah, I was kind of wishing it was Idaho like you yeah. thought. 